Slamming, Cluttered Mind, and Cybernetic Bulk too, guys. Cluttered Mind, huh? Or Slamming. Let us reroll this one, first of all. Heroic Grab Bag. Heroic Grab Bag, and we have an Archangel. An Archangel is weird, though. Hmm. Heroic Grab Bag. Can we go for a 3-star? We're on Loot Subscription as well. Loot Subscription, oh yeah, I should check what, what they got. I think they got an item. Okay, we'll get an item. Um, I frick it. Gargantuan resolve like a babus. Yeah. Let's go. Let's cook something with gargantuan resolve. This is gonna be a fun game, guys. Gargantuan resolve. Who do we cook? The classic would be Yone, right? Yone or Volibear. They are that classic Gargantuan Zolf, guys. But we're not going for classic, you already know, guys. We're not going for classic. I'm thinking Silas. A big old Silas. I tried it once. It was good. It was decent. I had too little health, so I died to like a legendary board. But it looked like it could easily get a top four. So it definitely isn't terrible. What else am I supposed to play here, man? <laughs> okay, so the problem is our other items. <laughs> our other items are the problem. We can go Silas with a Bruiser Frontline. Syndra. Lilia. Like, who can I use with a blue buff, you know? Who can use a blue buff well? None of these guys. I mean, Wukong, but... You know. Uh, you know. I'm trying to get triple, triple Gargantuan, right? That's what I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get triple Gargantuan, so I should definitely reforge some stuff. I should definitely reforge some stuff. Some more uh, juicers. It's not bad. Some more heavenly. Hmm. How much mana does this lady have? 60. Okay, so what about... What about this? So I heard this is really OP. I heard Gargantuan Kane with a full heavenly setup is OP. I heard it's really good. I heard it's like actually an S tier comp. We could try that. Okay, you know what? I'm down to play full heavenly. I think that's gonna be fun. Because full heavenly is gonna buff up that one giga gargantuan titans guy really hard. So we're, we're happy with that. We're definitely happy to try that. Yeah, we're happy to try that, right? Okay, let's let's see. Let's see. Something like that. So either Silas or Kane. I'll see what I'll get. Ooh, it's a it's an encounter. Adds a champion duplicator. Very good for me. Very good for me. Because we're going for a four cost carry. Right, hopefully I can get something good here. I mean I'll take the armor. I'll take the Titans components. So, um, hmm. Okay. Something like this, huh? Wait, who am I missing for Heavenly? Oh, yeah. The Nico, of course. Something like this. And then level 8, we just add the Shen, for example. For Ghostly and... Yeah, something like this. I don't hate that. I am not hating that. Oh, but we could also go... We could also go this dude. We could also go this dude right here. I need to keep the Kha'Zix. Okay, so I need to reforge some items, bro. So Morello is fine, right? Morello is fine. Morello is fine. Morello stays. 
Morello on Soraka, that is perfectly fine. That is great. We will use that. That's okay. We have heal reduction. Ticked off. So, uh, as you can see here, instead of Kane and Shen, we could also go Yorick and Silas. We won't have Bruiser, but I think that's okay. I will sell this one Yorick, though. For now, because I need to uh, make 20. I need some money here, otherwise I'm broke. I'm down to sell the Shen as well. Okay, we have a decent amount of money. We have the Duplicator. We're gonna reforge some stuff. And we want to go... We do not want to go Triple Titans. We would like to get a Heavenly Emblem so we can get Omni Vamp. Heavenly Emblem and Harm Assist, and then I can go Triple Titans. The cool thing about... Um, the cool thing about Silas is he has healing in his ult, which scales with AP, so you can actually go Triple Titans. You do not need... Uh, you do not need... Bloodthirster. But on Kane, we would have to go Bloodthirster, unless I get a Heavenly Emblem, which would give me Omni Vamp. And I get um, Harm Assist. I would need both, right? Because Heavenly Emblem is like what? It's a little bit of Omni Vamp. 3% base, 240% if I play 7. Like, it's it's not that much, right? It's not that much. Giving it to a 2 star will also raise it a little bit. So let's say like 8% Omni Vamp. It's not enough, clearly. It's not enough, clearly. I don't think I'm losing this fight, right? I think I should be fine against the minions. Does Silas work as a carry? I think he's gonna be good enough, yeah, to get a top 4. And that would already make me happy because, uh, let's be real guys, no one plays a single Silas. No, no one plays Silas ever. That unit is... Uh, it's okay, it's not that bad, it's just, you know, it has a weird identity. Like, you play it with, with Yone. If you're playing Yone, carry. Oh, Bloodthirster component. Bloodthirster. Okay, could also go Hodge. Okay, now we're being a little bit silly. Oh, loot subscription? Death's Defiance. <laughs> yep, we won the game, guys. Let me tell you, that's gonna be the nastiest freaking unit you will ever see in your life. That's gonna be so freaking nasty. It's gonna be too nasty. It's gonna be too freaking nasty. Do you understand me, guys? So we'll go even Shroud on one of our main tanks, which I guess is gonna be Shen out of these guys. <laughs> Who else is it? Nobody really. So we'll go for an even Shroud. Now we just need a bow and we have a full build on Kane. Oh boy! That's gonna be a nasty freaking Kane. That's gonna be. He's gonna 1v9 everything. Hopefully. Hopefully he's gonna 1v9 everything. Let's see if he does. Again, I heard this is an actual good comp. Wow! So I can easily go level 8. Yummy, guys. Alright, guys. There's the luck. There is the luck, guys. This is insane luck. The encounter is perfect. Now at the start of every stage, gain T- Nah, this is bad because we're getting the thing, right? This is really bad. Precious dummy, salvage bin. Salvage bin can give me items. Uh, I mean, Martyr is pretty good though. I just want combat. You forgot to buy. Alright guys, I mean, uh, you feel me guys? Alright, can someone explain? Can someone please explain? How do I play a rank game on my main? I get a Fated Emblem on my Wandering Trainer. I check the lobby. No one has a Fated Emblem. I'm like, okay. I'll play a Filios reroll. I check the lobby again. A guy takes a Fated Emblem. Takes a Fated Emblem when his his Wandering Trainer has no Fated Emblem. Completely different Wandering Trainer. He takes the Fated Emblem. Hard contests me. 
and I lose. And here, on this, on the, on, on my Smurf, I get this type of RNG. I don't know, guys, but I'll take it. Whatever, man. Who cares? Who cares, guys? Um, now what? I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to do something with these. I mean, you know, low key, low key, we're going fast nine, right? Like, we're going straight to level 9 after we uh, get uh, Kane 2. So we can actually reach uh, Wukong. So we can play dual carry with Wukong. So we can play blue buff Wukong. So let's just blue buff on her for now. That's pretty good. Okay. And I'm happy to keep losing here a little bit so I can get uh, Titans, right? Because I need a bow. What if I never get a bow? I probably should get a bow, though. Shouldn't be that hard to get a bow at some point. Just one bow, right? Come on, guys. One bow. Come on now. Come on now, man. Nah, come on now. Let's not be silly. Just one bow. Let us not be silly, man. Decent loss. Yeah, decent loss. Oh, wait. Is that a win? Nah, it's not. Ah, we don't even kill this. Sad, bro. Oh, slap it. Nice. Good job. Decent loss. Good stuff. I mean, it's a perfect loss. Okay. So this is just our team, and then we just add Wukong, right? And then we just... Well, what do we add on level 9? Adds a defensive component. Uh, hopefully... Hopefully I get this, guys. I have to go the other way. I have to go the long way. Oh, I can cut through. He just made his whole way around, and then he took it anyway. He just made his whole way around, right? He didn't take the bow, and then he just loops around and takes it anyway. That's crazy, guys. That is sure crazy. I mean, this Kha'Zix is freaking trash, right? Am I going Gargoyle? I mean, it's not that bad. Like, what else am I going? Nothing? Should I have leveled? Still make 30. Could play Kha'Zix for more heavenly value. Lee Sin is pretty good, right? Lee Sin is a pretty good unit. Oh, level 9, we're just adding Rakan, right? For Altruist. Simple. Altruist just gives resistances. Even more tankiness for Mr. King. And then, of course, the classic, we add Diana. We add our beautiful Diana. Gives us Sage and Dragon Lord. She's here, but we don't need her right now. So I'm not gonna buy her right now. And honestly, maybe I'll keep playing Lee Sin for a little bit. Losing a lot of health here. Need to take him out of the team planner. Losing a lot of health here. I mean, if I don't get a bow, I just I guess I'll just lose. Uh, everyone already... Like... Uh, this guy's playing Umbral. At least he's playing something that I don't see every game. <laughs> but this guy is also just playing Ink Shadow. <laughs> he has Story Weaver Emblem and Duelist Emblem. And he plays freaking Ghostly Ink Shadow Senna. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, a new patch is needed. A new patch is very needed. Because the funny thing about that is, that is probably the right decision. That's how bad the balance is right now, guys. Oh, this freaking tattoo of protection is very annoying. We win those. Come on, man. I think he got bugged because he switched focus from this to this for some reason. That is really bad, because I lose so much additional health. We could have killed one of these. Very cringe. We could have killed both if he just focused this, then he could kill this as well. Because he wouldn't, uh, he would survive longer. Okay, I mean, I am kind of behind, though. That is the problem over here. That is the problem over here. I'm kind of behind. Or like, I, I, not, not just kind of. I, I am not in the best spot. But I have this duplicator. And I will use it on Kane. I will use it immediately. I thought I can greed and go... Uh, you know, go for a 3-star Kane. But I don't think we can. Nice, we got our bow. 
That is lovely. I don't think I'm using... I mean, I could go fast 9 if I do this, but... Kane is so much better, right? I got a Bloodthirster on Monkey. I got a blood, Bloodthirster on the Monkey. I mean, I have to sack one. I have to sack one. Level on Interval. That's pretty good. I'm not going for 2-star Lee Sin, bro. Like, I, I think Lee Sin is so much worse than Kane. Uh, who's getting Bloodthirster for now? Just Soraka? Sure, bro. Jesus. Blue buff, Bloodthirster, Monkey. It's gonna be very strong. Probably two of his best items. Remember, the Wukong only has 30 mana, so blue buff is insane. He has 20 mana with it. Crazy. Now, look at Lee Sin is so bad, right? Lee Sin cannot 1v9 as efficiently as Kane. Kane has the AoE damage, right? Like, he would, he would be killing both at the same time, right, with his ult. Oh, but he still is 1v9-ing. <laughs> let's go, baby boy. <laughs> Come on, man, beat her up. Yeah, boy! Why was he getting those shields, by the way? Ah, he gets a shield, okay. Uh, hedge fund? Shall we? Cheers, my friends. Oh, I think it's Jewel Lotus. I, I think it's Jewel Lotus. It just enables the cane. I think Jewel Lotus, like, we just want to buff up the cane as much as possible. I think that's actually better. Oh. Nah, bro, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I promise you this is better. No. Prison can hold me. Sure, I'll make you. Oh my god. Now you might be asking, why not Wukong instead of Kane with these items? Uh, again, the, the, the comp is specifically around Kane. That's what I heard. Comp is specifically around Kane. Supposed to be way better with Kane. Do I just go QSS on Wukong? I think it's good, right? I don't think I'm reforging. It feels weird to not use my reforgers at all, but it's just very good. QSS on Wukong is good, just let him cast. Let him keep casting. K Kane, trust me guys, Kane is just very, very good at doing these 1v9s. And QSS is really good on freaking Wukong, man, because I have Jewel Lotus. Actually amazing. The power of a dragon. Okay. Am I even duplicating, bro? I feel like I should. I'm low, right? I feel like I have to, bro. Bro, I'm really low, guys. I have a one-star Shen as well. I think not rolling for the two-star Shen is very greedy. And even just doing that is so greedy already that, um... Oh, that's why we have a one-star Shen. <laughs> this guy, but that's okay. I think we got we got a roll. We got a roll. We got a roll, right? And we, we got to duplicate there. We got to duplicate. So even, like, duplicating and not rolling anymore is already greedy. So I think I'll go for that. All right, this is going to be so insanely strong. The, the Shen just died, so I can get two-star Shen now, hopefully, eventually. Just passively just getting it. Without rolling. There's a thing. There's a two-star Shen. I think I'll just grab that. I'll just grab that. If I can. I'm pretty sure this guy took all my stuff. Oh, okay. Oh, that, that's my bad. I could have gotten that. I was just too far from it, honestly. Uh, that's just my bad, bro. I, 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 went for, I went for a banana. I walked like a banana, man. Because I got tilted because the same guy that took my bow took it. But then I saw he's actually going for 3-star Shen, so it makes sense. <laughs> ah. Freak. I shouldn't have duplicated. I mean, obviously, that's hindsight, right? You can't. That's just a joke, guys. We definitely should have duplicated. Okay, I mean, we just took a tier. I don't know, tier is fine there. Soraka probably gets tier, right? It's fine. Nothing bad. She has Morello, so we want to apply the Morello. I mean, honestly, I'm moving Morello to Rakan ASAP, right? This is really freaking strong. I don't think we lose this. I think we win those. So this comp uh, was used in Chinese scrims during uh, PvE. 
So uh, since then, of course, I think Kane got nerfed and stuff. So it's not really super popular. And Heavenly got nerfed a lot. Heavenly was very OP back then. But yeah, this Gargantuan Titans Kane is a Chinese comp that was used uh, on PvE. Well, as you can see, we can still... Uh, it can definitely perform well on my Smurf, at least. It can definitely perform well on my Smurf. Would I do it on my main? Probably. Probably as well, yeah. But I mean, this game was very... Was one of those lucky games, right? On my main, I wouldn't take Gargantuan Resolve to start off the game, right? I wouldn't just take Gargantuan Resolve when I have AP items on my main. Like, that, that's just... That was the dumbest decision ever, right? You have AP items and you're like, frick it, I'll just hard force Gargantuan Resolve. This is, of course, a smurf play. Just for a cool YouTube video. And we are getting a cool YouTube video for it. As you can see. We are getting a very cool YouTube video for it. But if you have a good start for this, right? If you have a Titans already and you get this, you can absolutely pull this off. Again, I did get very lucky. I don't think I can imagine better augment. I think Harm Assist could be better. And remember, I got the best encounter as well, which gave me a best client. Or not encounter, that was actually the loot subscription, right? Giving us the random loot. Uh, level 9, 2 star Bukong, Rakan. Call it day. That's it. That's the game. That's it, guys. Level 9, we go, we get a 2 star Wukong, and that's it. Can I lose to anybody? Can I lose to anybody? No. 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 3 star Yone. No. No chance. I win easily against 3 star Yone. Uh, this is pretty good if they focus my cane first, but eh, not really. Uh, Umbral. Umbral, I really are, is very cool, but I think we're good. Another, uh, another spatula. Shall we? <laughs> now you might be wondering, how does that even work? I'll tell you how that works. You double the Omnivamp, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, we double the Omnivamp. Now, funnily enough, we cannot put it on anybody right now. So that is quite funny. That is quite funny. We cannot put it on anybody right now. We need our Rakan. We need Mr. Rakan. Because obviously you cannot put it on heavenly units. We will not waste our slot on freaking Kane. Remember, heavenly is a global buff. Every unit gets it. That's why the cool uh, Chinese comp with the ZZ Rots works so well, right? The ZZ Rots get the heavenly bonus. But yeah, we will definitely play uh, full heavenly still. Uh, I will not get a more bigger bonus because I'm still 7 heavenly, right? There's no 8 heavenly. But I will get 6% Omnivamp. So I could kick one of the heavenly units. But they're just not worth kicking. 666 damage cane, yeah. It's pretty cool. Um, so th they're just not worth kicking. Like, who, who is worth kicking? Soraka is AP. We don't really need AP, right? All the other bonuses are great. Like, we have Jewel Lotus 3. We get bonus crit chance from Kha'Zix. That's amazing. Malphite bonus resistances. Amazing. Nico bonus health. Amazing. Kiana, bonus attack damage, amazing. Wukong, attack speed is the most bro, like that's the best one, right? Uh, that, uh, that's why it's locked behind the legendary. And then a Soraka, AP, yeah, we don't really need AP. But you know what we need Soraka for? For this stupid altruist trait, which is extremely overpowered, right? Uh, what am I leveling? I think I'm just leveling here, I want a lot of money. I want to have a bunch of money. I want to have enough money to uh, hit everything. This guy has ghostly Irelia. Dangerous. Very scary. But, oh, look. See how much damage I'm taking? Yeah. That is the thing that can beat me. But he's level 8 and has a 2-star Irelia. Yes, he had duplicators, but still, man. It's pretty silly. Remember, all these 2-stars that we were missing, right? Like this Kiana and the Wukong, they will give us more attack speed and stuff, right? That guy can beat us. That guy can beat us. But if we have two carries, it should be uh, winnable. Remember, the ghostly trait is very overpowered right now. I mean, we're guaranteed to 4 though. We win against this guy. 2-star Wukong at level 7. Hopefully, we can kill him here. 2-star Wukong at level 7. That's pretty silly. <laughs> we're not fighting him. 
we're fighting his ghost. He's fighting the Irelia, uh, another Irelia two-star guy. So two people have Irelia two-star. I mean, we did get uh, duplicators, right? Everyone got duplicators, so it makes sense. But we will beat the ghost of this guy. I'm getting stunned. I got stunned for like five minutes there. We still beat it. I got stunned for like five seconds there. Seemed bugged. Uh, it's a little bit annoying to roll now because this guy is not dead yet. And he is holding three Vukons, so that is a little bit of a problem. <sighs> Frick it! I'm going mental illness mode. Now, this is really dumb. This is really dumb. We should not take this. We're very low HP. There's very strong enemies. But we are on a smurf. And that's why I love playing on my smurf more than on my main nowadays. Because uh, we can do this dumb stuff, right? Uh, we're never going to go for this Wouldn't then. My fate on anybody. Might as well just play him then. Because now we can just go straight to level 10. And try to uh, include Diana as well now. Try to include a beautiful Diana as well now. This guy's full Umbral. I don't think Umbral can beat me. I don't think he has enough damage, but I might be wrong. I'm healing a lot, right? As you can see. <laughs> it is very cool, isn't it? Boom! 1v9, baby boy! Boom! 17,000. Not bad. That is not bad at all. We'll play the Altruist. Believe me, it's better. It might actually be better than Diana as well. But Dragon Lord is good, it's more attack speed. But I feel like resistances are just the king right now, right? Just get more resistances. Like, look, Altruist jumps to 15 armor and magic pen. Uh, magic resistance, so... I think it's actually really good. See? The Omni Vamp doubled to 6%. Okay, I mean, I just lose against this guy, right? I'll keep losing to him. He's very strong. <laughs> He's extremely strong, so... I have QSS, so the set... The set ult is not going to do anything. Nice. Nice, the set ult. Okay, maybe we can kill Irelia fast. Oh my god! Oh no, he's getting stuck on the tank. It's fine. Wow, huge. How did we beat him so easily? Uh, we did get more altruist. Or we did get altruist now, right? I think altruist is too good. I think altruist is too good. Freak the Diana. I think altruist is too good. Uh, attack speed, I'm good on that. The way uh, this guy works is he just spins around anyway. I'm good on that one. I'm good on that one, yeah. He just spins around, right? He just keeps ulting. 60 mana only. Gets focused by everyone because he's 1v9ing. Just keeps spamming his ult. He's not even auto-attacking often. So no need for the bonus attack speed of Dragon Lord. Should be fine. I mean, I literally cannot fit it. I literally cannot fit it. I would have to remove his items. I can literally not fit it. So I have to take this one. But that is funny, guys. We are made by our choices. I channel the spirits I feel closest to. I still don't have Shen 2. <laughs> Guys, we have 9 Heavenly. 9% Omni Bam. And you best believe I would have gone for 10 Heavenly if I could, but I cannot remove a Titans or a Death's Defiance from the dude. I can't. I really can't, guys. But uh, this also gives us more Omni Bam, right? Sage Emblem. 12% uh, Omni Bam in, in the front two rows and AP in the back. 
So we're getting a bunch of Omnivamp on the whole team. Yeah, that is pretty funny. I still don't have Shen 2. <laughs> I do not have Shen 2, guys. Oh, wait! He has... He has 10 Umbral! I'm dead! He has 9 Umbral! I'm dead for sure! Oh, wait. Maybe there is a world where I don't drop to 40% health because I have so much Omnivamp. Oh, my God! I'm beating 9 Umbral! Because 40% health, I just get executed. 40% health execute. It's really OP, right? But I just don't drop low enough because of my Omnivamp. LEL! You freaking idiot! GG, brother man! Oh man, that's too bad for you! Bro, I'm not going for 3 star girl, man. Bro, I found Shen too. I have to lock for Shen too, man. I'm gonna put this to the side, because he can actually survive if he's not next to the Sunfire. The Sunfire is in the middle. He can actually survive if he's not uh, next to the Sunfire. He has so much Omnivamp as well. Oh, frick. The Sunfire is onto me. But I have so much Omnivamp, I just lifesteal through the Sunfire. Look. <laughs> and look at the Wukong. The Wukong is so powerful as well. I'm looking for this. I'm getting Wukong on Carousel. Is he looking for anything? No, right? Is he going for any special two-star or anything? Lissandra, I guess. Which we don't really care about. I think it's Loki QSS. It's QSS on Rakan because we have Jewel, Jewel Lotus, right? Rakan does a lot of damage. Oh, frick, he doesn't. Target I mean, yeah, he does. He does. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he'd win. Bro, I don't have two-star Wukong. How is that even possible, man? No one's contesting it. I mean, I'm not moving anything. I don't give a frick, guys. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. GG! I do not give a frick. It's on you to win the game. You better move. I'm just gonna stay. I'm not gonna change anything. If it works, it works. Oh my god, did you see that? The set was about to ult my cane. And maybe during that time he can't heal. And then he could he could beat me, right? But you know what happened? The freaking Soraka mana reefed him, so he can't ult. The freaking Soraka mana reefed him, man. Nah, that's a little bit too crazy, guys. We beat 9 Umbral. Do you understand? Do you understand? We beat 9 Umbral. That's freaking crazy, guys. Subscribe to the bell if you enjoy these TFT videos. Also, make sure to leave an algorithmic comment and an algorithmic like down below to support this video in the algorithm so I can get some more views. And I'll see you next time. Peace.